the first focal matter video and I expect it to be shit. And I'm okay with that because I've got no idea what I'm doing, but it can only get better from here. So for those who want to know a little bit more about me, there is actually an official first video, which is more of an introduction into my photography, me as a person. Is that sound really loud? And just get to know what this channel is actually gonna be about. So click on that if you want. Click here or something, or click here. I don't know, let's click on one of these sides. On this first video, I'm shooting a roll of black and white film called Adox HR50. So Adox is the company, and I believe they've been around since like the 1800s. However, this film stock was released in 2018, and it's been adapted in modern day technology, like summer special. I've got no idea what's been done to it, but it make it's made it so you're able to use it in photography, basically. I'm not going to get into the technical side of things purely because I have no idea. So off I went on my single speed hipster luminous orange bicycle for the journey of my lifetime. Which is actually just around my local area and I went to an industrial estate on a Sunday afternoon so it was dead. The first few shots I did were, in fact, the incorrect settings, or the fact that I was stood doing a balancing act on a bicycle. Your call, but it's a vibe. However, next time I probably won't use my bike as a human tripod. After figuring out these settings were incorrect, put it back to box speed, which is ISO 50. So yeah, I'm still sort of learning what my shoot style is and it's clearly not still objects because I'm still learning how to keep a steady hand. So again, another trash shot. We started off with two absolute terrible photographs in this video, which isn't the greatest for my first video. However, I feel like this is gonna be a theme throughout my whole channel of terrible photos, but I promise to stay true and as pure as I possibly can. So after cycling around and recovering from those terrible photographs that I've started this off with, I found these industrial doors, which are actually, I really like this photograph. It's probably my favorite one I took of the day. There's just a, a hell of a lot of lines and I like lines. No, not, not those lines. <laughs> I don't know what the f I'm talking about. I enjoy black and white photography. I prefer black and white over color. However, none of these photographs actually really stood out to me. And that's 99.9% .9 user error. And I feel that's gonna be a pretty big theme going forward with my videos on this channel. So you've got that to look forward to. Finishing off, I met up with my mother and her dog for a little bit of a debrief. Um, they look pretty similar, but they're family to me and I love them the same. I've just said my mum looks like a dog on my first video. Let's see how that goes down. <sighs> I 
only shot half a roll that I actually filmed. Um, the rest of it, I kind of took the camera with me to work and took a couple of shots at work. And I was experimenting with double exposures and I still don't know really how to do them. They were shot in a dark, but I think some of them actually came out pretty well. This one being my favorite because obviously the train tracks. Although I th I'm pretty sure I do remember I did not intend for that to be a double exposure, so. I liked this film stock. It was a lot better than what I was expecting. It was super clear, super crisp. The grain was super fine. I didn't like the fact that it was uh, ISO 50. I don't think I'm used to shooting that. I'm not, ex I don't, I think I, I would assume it's for more experienced shooters and not beginners like myself. I would shoot this film roll again. I feel like I'd really like it for a portraits project. I just don't have any friends. So maybe I should get some friends before I think about projects like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's my experience with Adox HR50. You can go out there and have your own. That's it. I'm not doing any YouTuber stuff. I'm just talking about my experience, so peace out guys. I'm not a YouTuber, get out of my life, leave me alone.